Hey guys, this is Austin. 2018 has been a great year for smartphones. The Pixel 3 is killing it on the camera side. We've got the Oppo Find X, which might be the coolest design yet. And we have the good old Poco phone, which at $300 has kind of changed the game. I just realized that this is a blue phone on a blue background. Does that look weird? Can I, wait, wait, I'll hold it in this hand. The Poco phone. It's changing the game. For real though, this phone has changed the way a lot of smartphones are being sold right now. Previously, the OnePlus really was kind of like the standard of the sort of benchmark phone at a much cheaper price, right? So you get all the flagship specs, but usually at a couple hundred dollar discount. However, this year the Poco phone is doing the exact same thing, but it's something close to $300. While most phones at this price point have significantly slower internals than the flagships of the world, that's where the Poco phone definitely differs. Inside, it has the exact same Snapdragon 8 45 processor as in the $1,000 Galaxy Note 9. The battery, again, the exact same size as that Note 9. Even when you take a look at the design, it's fairly similar to the notch on the iPhone. And while yes, it is made of plastic, when you consider that all of this is coming in a phone that's just a little bit over $300, it is seriously impressive. That's where this comes in, the brand new Nokia 7.1, which at $350 might just be able to go head to head. The biggest difference here is in build. So the Poco phone does come in a couple configurations. This is the armored edition with the aramid fiber back and you also have the cheaper plastic, but neither of these really can hold up to the glass and metal of that Nokia. I mean, this looks so much nicer. Not only does it have that glass, but it's also made out of aluminum. And personally, as far as I'm concerned, it feels a lot nicer, right? I mean, sure, they definitely spent a lot more of the budget on the build quality versus the internals, but you spend all day holding the phone. I do think that's an important consideration. Of course though, none of this really matters too much if you put these phones in a case. As much as I like the feeling of the Nokia, it is a lot more fragile, right? If I drop the phone, I'm gonna shatter the back more than likely. Whereas with the Poco phone, it might be plastic, but if I scratch it, whatever. I mean, I guess not whatever, but I don't have to replace the entire phone as opposed to this guy. Considering that both phones are pretty cheap, the screens are not bad at all. The Poco phone is a little bit bigger, although they're about the same resolution. The main difference here is with the speakers. Neither of these phones sound all that great. So the main issue is that they both have a single bottom firing speaker, which is a little tinny and easy to cover. But the good thing is, is that they both have our friend, Jack. Headphone jack. That headphone jack is useful for the sponsor of today's video, Mastrop and their excellent AKG M220 Pro headphones. Do you see how smooth that was? Wow. I know, right? Headphone jack approves. These have quickly become some of my favorite headphones, especially when you consider that right now on Mastrop, they're only $35. With a wide soundstage thanks to the semi-open design, not only do they sound way better than you would expect for the price, but on top of that, they're comfortable. They're fairly lightweight, they have replaceable ear cups as well as a cable. It's a really, really solid package. Really, really, not just really solid. Really, really solid. Because I know adjectives and adverbs and thesauruses. Mastrop wanted to make a deal just for you guys, so for the next 30 days you can pick these up for only $35. If you've been in the market for some decent audiophile grade headphones, definitely be sure to go check them out. The link in the description of this video. The real difference between these two phones is in performance. Run them through Geekbench and you will see that there is a massive lead for the Poco phone. It is really playing at a different league. It also has the advantage of a heat pipe to help keep the phone cool while you're gaming, and on top of that the Poco phone has more RAM, 6 gigs versus 4. There isn't as big of a real world difference in performance as you might expect, but it is very clear to me that the Poco phone is a superior performer, and that goes a long way, especially if you want to use this phone for a few years, it should be able to keep up. It also helps that the Poco phone has a significantly bigger battery, 4,000 milliamp hours versus 3,000 on the Nokia. Now at this point, it might seem like the Poco phone is the very obvious winner, but there's one key area that the Nokia has over it, and that is software. So this is using Xiaomi's MIUI on top of Android 8.1, which is a little bit of a skinned version of Android, shall we say, whereas this is completely stock version of Android 9.0 Pi, and it is Android 1 compatible, which means that this is guaranteed at least two years of solid software updates, whereas the Poco phone, I mean, it's gotten updates so far, but who knows how long that will last. Now, software can be a subjective thing, and maybe you might like some of the extra features, the way that they've scanned the Poco phone, but as far as I'm concerned, I will definitely take stock Android any day, and at the very least, I would want to put a launcher on the Poco. Around back, both have a similar setup with a 12 megapixel main camera, as well as a depth sensor for portrait mode and for looking like you have two cameras on the back of your phone. Honestly, both are totally usable, but I will give a slight edge to the Poco phone. 
Not only does it consistently give really nice results right out of the box, but on top of that, I think a lot of people just will prefer the slight tuning of the image that Poco is doing. The Nokia looks fine, but I do feel like I trust the Poco phone just a little bit more, and that goes especially in low light. The Nokia does have a little bit of an advantage when it comes to selfies, but as far as video goes, again, I'm gonna give it to the Poco phone. That 4K video actually looks really impressive. At least here in the US, both these phones are easily available on Amazon, links in the description, but the main difference here is that while the Nokia does come with a warranty here, the Poco phone actually doesn't have any US warranty. Your results will vary based on what country you're in, but that might be a deal breaker for some people. The build quality and especially the software is really impressive on the Nokia, but I have to give this one to the Poco phone. Not only is it a great overall package, but with the hundreds of dollars you're gonna save versus a bigger, more expensive flagship, you could even buy yourself a pair of shiny new mass drop headphones. Available right now at the link in the description. <laughs> Link in the description. Go ch check out. <laughs>